Hello, welcome to another Ginny vlog. Uh, so I'll just full screen this a bit so we can just have a face on for a little bit before. Uh, hello, welcome to another Ginny vlog. <coughs> so, big news, major update for this vlog, and it's going to be like the others. I'm just going to play through a bit and play test as I go along. Um, a bit of commentary. Um, first working beat is work, well, second working beat is working now. So, without further ado, I'm just going to go straight into it, play and talk, and describe some of the changes that are taking place. There we go, boot it in. <coughs> just take on this quest first, so we can test it out, test how things are working, I guess. Uh, there should be major AI updates now. The AI has been majorly updated, I've added a lot of waypoints. Modified view distances, which should make the enemies a bit more intelligent. There has been occasions where they've just... I've had a lot more grass in areas as well, trying to really flesh them out, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm just going to playtest the game for however long I last, I suppose. We've got two lives. If I die, then I die. Well, let's just try and playtest this out. The game now has six quests that you can play. Uh, still need to add a bit of NPC uh, interactions, just to accept this quest to kill these guys. That's one of the first... Uh... What up, man? Uh, I probably need to put some more, you know, kind of... Uh, well, there's still additional details, but I'm kind of incrementally going through everything and improving it as we go along, the terrain, like little extra details for the level design, which makes it more interesting. Just trying to get this guy from the Waka, waka, waka. Oh, I hate it's doing that. It's done that. No, I want that to never come up. Okay, he seems stupid for some reason. Come on. Okay, sometimes they seem a bit silly, which is annoying. I've not had that problem previously. The AI does still seem a bit random, so I need to work on it. I think I've got all of those now, so I'll quickly go and collect my reward. Uh, I need to test out some new shop figures that I've added as well. Uh, now killed six, six of the uh, and then plus one of the uh, enemies. I should now be able to collect my reward for defending the farmers union from the bandit attack. So that's one of the most simple quests in the actual game itself, actually. Uh, the counter. I need to get that still showing all the time. I'm really not sure what I've, I've done everything that I think I need to do to make that trigger stay active all the time, but for some reason it does seem to jib out after a certain amount of distance. There we go, so I've got 500 gold. I've completed one quest. Let's go and explore a bit more around this way. But I'm going to see if I can somehow manually block the. Um, FPS message that comes up sometimes. I don't want it just to automatically do that because if it cuts it down, it gets rid of the water for some reason, which kind of ruins the entire gameplay experience. Try and shoot this guy from here. <laughs> Distance combat. I, mean, I really need to get this game play tested with someone who's not me next as well. That's the next stage. So I want to see how it is for a player. I'm kind of almost playing the game on a on on rails as it were because I kind of know what, you know how to navigate around and everything else we need to get there so these got they seem to still be quite dumb I need to get that changed that's, that's annoying because they have got waypoints on that and I've changed the view distance to a thousand so Let's see if he doesn't. Okay. Well, this is kind of annoying because it seems that the AI hasn't improved to the level I'd want it to. However, I don't want anyone to have to 
modify anything too much. Uh, I'm gonna go, there's a new quest I've added in, I'm just gonna check if all that's working all right. You know, I've had a lot more grass around here, like little little details to make the world sing a bit more, I suppose. This is a good, lo oh, go away. This is a good long distance weapon. Some enemies here. Shoot from a while. Nice rapid. This is not so long distance, but it's good as a rapid fire. The enemies still seem a bit static. Uh, the water ones were moving around quite a lot before, so I don't know what's causing that. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yes. I just have an idea actually just now. If I could possibly make it so that at the end of the game it lists out what you've done. So for example I'm helping you. I'm kill well, killing the water now, it's only because they attack when you're in their areas. But um, if I can make it so that there are story elements so after the 40 minutes is up, you kind of get you helped the yeah, air air tribe. Really. The AI actually seems to have got more stupid when I've added the distance, which is bizarre. I thought it would have done exactly the opposite, but well, that's that. I'll have to enjoy it. There we go. Got here, bitches. Right, let's go to the main town. Some other quests in there I can explore and look around a bit. Oh, so his walking script's working. Even though he's going around in a bit of a, a daze, it looks like. Some of them seem to get a bit stuck, I don't know why. I'm just trying to trigger positioning or something. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a new shopkeeper I need to test out, I'm going to do that now. But yeah, what was the thing? Um, something I'd like to implement is a. Uh, yeah, like a, a kind of a story narrative so that whenever you complete a quest, you know, you've helped the water, whichever tribe you help the most. There we go, so that's cool, that works. Got this. Yeah, so got, still got shops there you can buy from. I guess there's different. I can uh, look at the items looking out there. Ignore that for a second. So if you're viewing, it's just telegram messages coming through. La 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 la. Uh. Oh, okay. There's another quest here. I'll we'll just take this one on. You can keep a track of your quest by going to the Lady of the Gin, so there is basic quest tracking and also in the RPG menu. So I'll do this mission. The water tribe guy. So the water tribe are more like wily and intelligent. They're trying to use technology to kind of make the world a bit more hospitable because it's kind of an inhospitable wasteland as it were. Post-apocalypse you know, kind of thing. So they're the ones who are trying to basically air a more air and earth a bit more kind of bandits, earth a bit more important. I get killed. The combat is still so there's nine minutes past, so I've got half an hour to till the game will auto end anyway. Uh, I'm still happy with that as a part of the mechanic, I think it makes sense. I don't think you can spend more than forty minutes really explore an entire map but also I don't I think it will take no less than 40 minutes to complete at least some of the quests so that's my logic behind that and also it kind of gives it 
even though the, it kind of gives the world more of a bigger feeling and might also think more replayability if you've got a time limit. Because unless, if you didn't have a time limit in this game, I think you'd have, you'd be able to complete it and do everything in probably about an hour and a half, maybe more, less probably. You would just blitz through it. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So what does she want me to do again? I can't remember actually. So yeah, it's good that you get like a reiteration. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, so it's in the, it's over here, so I just need to go find that piece of information, which is where I was before, and uh, well that was an earth area, but it's close by the, the other tribe that I need to go to, there's that one all. I mean, I hopefully, I'm hoping with the dialogue that I've given enough cues for where these areas are, like for example in the dialogue I've put the, the, the town you need to go to is near the dish, which is, you know, the scientific research lab. So I'm kind of hoping that it's, there's enough cues that I give the player to be able to find their way around. I'm hoping. Whether I, I've been successful in that is another question. Yeah. Level design is not too quick. Oh, that needs fixing. That's, not what I was, that's a si simple fix. It's just me being lazy, I guess, when I was in the level design. Another guy there. <laughs> There's like a fire camp to the right of here, so I'm going to try and avoid fighting all them. Because they're pretty badass. Okay, so I've already been through here a bit. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to go at the other end. This is quite a new built up area that I've done. So, yeah, let's reload this a bit. La 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 la, let's blitz through this, do a few missions. Yeah, you should have seen. Uh, this is the first, as I said, working beta version. Uh, next real big milestones, create the scoreboards of some sort. Create like an output at the end from the darts that um, displays information that's contextual, i.e. information which is outputted as a result of your actions in the game. So for example, if you held the water, then you would be probably it's say that you are a water member if you help the air a lot you'd be an air and you know fire and all the rest of it some of the missions you do are for anonymous people as well not all of them are tribe based Shit. the combat is still a bit it's still a bit too much like fire from far away i don't like that but, like, i mean even now like, it, it's not moving it's just frustrating me it was actually working before. I don't know if I need to actually add a view cone or something like that, but it's kind of annoying. Yeah, I was actually performing quite well before, so possibly adding a uh, manual view distance. I don't want to have to go through everything and redo it again anyway. So, anyway. Uh, this is quite a lot of enemies around here, it's an air area. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, the, the combat is currently, you can get killed pretty fast, but also, uh, I don't know, it's, it needs balancing, really. I can just shoot these guys from a distance, and it's just too easy. And then sometimes it gets ridiculously hard, so I need to balance it out. There you go, this guy's good. As well as the, also the, that's the guy. They have shotguns, the airs. They're more like brute force. Got him. Oh shit. Got him. But yeah, they're not moving around for a minute. I don't know why. They were working fine before. It seems a bit random. Sometimes they will. The, the, the waypoint scripts work 100%. Sometimes it just needs to break a bit, and I'm not sure why that's happening at the minute. Because it's not exciting if I can just, just pop, you know, kind of like pop these guys off from a distance. It's just not a dynamic combat. It doesn't feel that way. But that should be easy enough to fix, as I've already done it before, so it should be alright. Aha, there are things over here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, 
Uh, let's just grab this. I've got. I've probably been playing now for about 20 minutes. And then I'll just end it. I don't want to go and play on this. I don't want to complete the whole game, obviously. But I've never even tried doing that yet. But there we go. Found it. Quest 6. Let's just go and get this back to um, the water lady. I've not actually tried completing this quest, so it should be interesting to see what happens when it's done. I've not got that far yet, so yeah, it should be interesting. La 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 la. Du, 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 du. Okay, uh, what about that? Oh, something, there's an iron crystal somewhere around here as well, I think. Some of the... Possibly some of the places need to be more obvious as to how to find them. It's probably going to be boring experience for to wander around a lot looking for things, I guess. And that's weird, because that's not right, but uh, I think that's just a case where I need to change the script. We'll just see if in both of those cases those quests work now, I guess. Uh, again, just ironing out these things. Ironing out those last minute kind of annoyances. Let's see if I can jump over here. Hey. There we go. Let's just see if this works now. I've got a feeling it might crash now because it seems to be saying I've got seven of those items and there's only one. So we'll see. See what happens. Yeah, no, it's, that would automatically just complete, so we need to modify that script. So that's good. Playtesting is how you find these things if they work or not. So let's get to that water woman. We can give her a, uh, knowledge. A lot of the quests here are like fetch and grab. Some of them are assassinate people, etc. I'm trying to uh, give it a little bit of variety, but it's very familiar territory, you know. But then I'm trying to infuse more of the story elements into it and get give you an idea of the real difference between the tri different tribes. So, okay, so I'm just going to talk to this lady. Hey! So I've got 800 gold from her. That works, that's good. We can probably add some more dialogue at the end of it. Let's just see how many minutes they've done now. I've got to add it onto the lady. Again, I think. It's fine. So for example, if I go in front of uh, the quest uh, summing up, I need to add time in there, I think, really. It might not always be obvious to players that you, that you just need to shoot that person. That might be a, someone we have to work on. Because the gold, the reward that you get from the NPCs that give quests out is based on their strength. Uh, that's an aspect of the scripts, of the way that they're, just the way they work. Uh, only drawback I see of that is that you, the only way I think you can make NPCs invulnerable is to add their <coughs> um, strength as zero, which gives them vulnerability. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to iron that one out. But anyway, let's just see how many minutes have passed. Uh, I need to also get that, so that's all the time. She doesn't have to come here, which doesn't make sense. 19, so I'm basically halfway through the game. <coughs> game time. So I'm going to call it a day there. Let's have a look at the Ginny just to make sure that's working. So we should say two or three quests completed and something like a thousand gold or something. Uh, pump. Pump, fire. There we go. Initiated five, three are completed. And 1,300 gold, so that's pretty good. I'm going to try and save it from here, there. And I'm going to try and save it from the other menu, which is the... No, I've already done it now. But let's see, see if the load... See if the load works. I think it just does. I don't think it actually loads in the correct position. I think it just loads up whatever your stats are, which kind of defeats the object. But we'll see. I've not, it's not something I've really tested or stress tested much yet because it's just other priorities like getting quests done and stuff. Um, but yeah, nearing that end point now. Just, just most of this stuff at the minute is ironing things out. AI needs. Resorting again. I don't know why adding modifying the default distance has had such a profound effect. I might just have to reverse engineer it now and change it all back to zero, which is defaultsome. 
Uh, not the end of the world if I have to do that really, it's just a bit of laborious labour work I guess, labour, which I'd rather not have to do, but if I, rather, if I have to do it, I have to do it, so. Yeah, blah 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 blah, come on, it's just loading. Load times are still relatively long, but not, it's not ridiculously over the top long, it's like usually about a minute or two that it takes to load, so that's passable because it's quite a big map. Uh, other thing is I'm, gonna, I'm trying to import this as an uh, app guru kit game so I can I think you can have more customization then and also convert to mobile converting to mobile is something I really want to do uh, suppose convert it to tablet and mobile maybe if I can get it to a standard get it on try and get it on Google Play Store then that would be quite a nice game I think for mobile you know something you can just dip in and out of and have a little bit of a good time with um, and also, of course, it's just, I just think it'd be an interesting game for mobile. If I, but, as I said, obviously I need to see if that's the conversion process is going to be possible for it. And it's not my first priority, it's the second priority. Um, for what I know of the conversion process, it's relatively simple. I'm just messing, I've been messing around with trying to get it to work recently, but it seems to be... I've got like a, not much space on my C drive, so that seems to be causing issues at the minute. Because a lot of the, you have to some of the you have to go into app data, which is on C, which I mean I can just free up space and that should eliminate that problem, but it's just time consuming. I've actually with my C drive now it's just become a thing of like I've t deleted so much from it so many times it just gets it's just getting to an annoying point now where it's like there's just stuff I need on there or not only stuff I need like most uh, most of the programs I'm installing now I'm just having a rant because it's got still loading time most of the Stuff I installs on D now, but C drive just yeah. This is the boring run. I don't expect anybody to listen to this. <laughs> this uh yeah. So this is almost there now. I think it's just yep. Yeah, it's the halfway mark, three quarters. Uh, all these screens will be changed when do starts doing some graphics or works wants to do some graphics, and that'll greatly enhance the, the overall final package at the minute it's just the default generic screens but I shall change all that make it more interesting and I really properly put a bit of effort to that I think really I mean I've already got the Gini logo but I might, I might just add background shots in the game that might be a good idea actually but just uh, yeah that might be good if we can get some decent ones that is usually a good idea because you representing the game world in the menus as well I think it's always good Anyway, cutscenes is a possibility. I was actually talking to Harvey, he's the other developer on this from the start, and he was interested in the idea of maybe doing some cutscenes. I don't know how that influenced with Game Guru, but I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure you can do it because they've got a video of bank in the actual system itself. Um, so that would be good if I can just create, even if it's like a simple. Okay, let's just see where I start off. Actually, this is going to be interesting. I should have had one life as well at the same time. I just noticed that's weird. Oh no, there he is, taking me down to one. Oh, perfect! Saving works. Brilliant. Let's just check if I've got all the same settings as well. Yep. Oh, no. Okay, so uh, I've got the same amount of gold. Uh, but all the quest information seems to have gone. So I bet you if I go up to this guy now, that's something we have to look into, I guess. Uh, I'm using mushroom scripts, which is like a bunch of which I modified a bit. Yeah, yeah. So all your all your quest information gets overridden. So that's that's something I need to uh, figure out. I guess it's something you might have to modify some of the save and load scripts, which is fine. I anyway. know. I digress. That was Ginny working beta version. Having a play on it, play testing. Uh, next video is hopefully I'm going to get actual other people to play test the game because I want that's going to be more useful. Because obviously at the end of the day, I am just I know the whole thing in and out, and it's not as authentic a reaction really or experience to for me to play it. I'll just quit this now. Okay, that's just that crashing go over. Bye.